Good morning, welcome back to a new video. Today is going to be a get it all done. I have, I don't even have a to-do list. I probably should make a to-do list, but I'm not. I'm just gonna tackle one thing at a time, <laughs> but I do have a lot to do. Um, I need to clean out the fridge, I need to clean out the pantry. I have to order groceries. Um, I then need to clean the house, fold laundry, clean the bathrooms. <laughs> If you catch my drift I have a lot of stuff to do I actually spent the past three days doing absolutely the bare minimum um, obviously just keeping up in general but I kind of slacked off with laundry I had editing to do for a whole day the following day I had editing and a doctor's appointment and then yesterday I decided to go thrift store shopping because I think I was just like overwhelmed from being in the house and it's been gloomy and rainy and I just needed to get out anyway back to reality I gotta get my house in order so we're gonna get it done. We're gonna start off with the fridge because since I did have a grocery order coming, I wanted to make sure to get this done today because the past two weeks, I have not done this. I know it just, it got behind. I ordered groceries and then just it slipped my mind forgot to clean it out by the time the groceries got here I didn't have time to clean it out so then I just kind of piled more dishes or more dishes what the heck am I talking about <laughs> more food into the fridge and it just got overwhelmed with stuff leftovers so I had to go through the fridge clean it all out really good um, the angle that I'm filming from right here is not the greatest. I don't know like what was going in my mind at the time, um, but you kind of get the point. I'm just emptying out, going through anything that's expired or old um, or that is empty. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but we always have like empty containers. Like there was two containers of orange juice that were literally empty in the back of the fridge and I thought that they actually had orange juice in them. They did not. They were empty. <laughs> Like, what's the point of putting it back in the fridge? It's so funny to me, but that's just kids for you. Um, so, yeah, I just had a lot of stuff to throw out. So I went ahead and worked on that, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the pantry. Okay, this is really random, but I, I wanted to mention it just in case anybody is in the market for appliances. So first off, um, I've had a couple of you ask if I like our brand of fridge and all that, and I, I don't actually. This is the Armana brand, and we've had a lot of issues with our appliances, like our oven, the clock will never stay set like as soon as I set the clock it has like this reset thing and it'll just start flashing and then the fridge all the plastic um, shelves in the fridge door have broke um, and we've lived in our house for four years so I guess I mean I guess after four years you, you're gonna have to start replacing things but um, I feel like appliances should last a heck of a, a lot longer than just four years as far as like before they start cracking and breaking um, but also the actual fridge itself, like, I don't know if you can really tell with me standing there, but this fridge is so tiny. It's very, it's like a deep fridge, so you can stack a lot of things in front of each other. But that is, like, such a huge issue, especially if you have kids and you end up putting the milk and then you have orange juice in front of the milk and then they are trying to get to the milk and they're, like, kind of pulling things out. It's really difficult to organize a fridge like this that's um, the two side by side, the freezer on one side, fridge on the other. I really want the double door fridge that opens up to the whole fridge and then on the bottom you have the freezer. Eventually, if whenever we do have to replace this, obviously we're gonna use it until it falls apart. Like I'm not gonna replace it unless it breaks. But when it does, I do wanna get the double door fridge because I think that would just makes so much more sense. Um, and now moving on to our little pantry here. Um, what I'm doing here is just kind of sorting through the food that we have, trying to get rid of any empty boxes. Wait till you see how many empty boxes were in our cabinets and our freezer. It's, <laughs> it's insane. Okay, I got the um, fridge and the pantry cleaned out. Um, now I just gotta wait for my groceries to get here so I can show you guys a haul. But until then, I'm gonna get the rest of the house picked up, laundry done, all the things. Um, my grocery order won't be here till about 1, and I think it's like currently like 9 o'clock in the morning. Let me check. 
9.23. Um, time's already flying today. I feel like my Fridays go by so fast and I have so much to do today. And we're even going, or I'm going up to my family's property tonight to help my sister-in-law decorate for my niece's birthday. Um, so I got crap to do. I gotta get busy. Um, I feel like I'm moving really slow. <laughs> Story of my life. Um, but yeah, we're gonna knock out, we'll clean the kitchen first. That way that's done before groceries get here. Just quickly tidy up the kit or the living room, dining room, and then I'll just tackle whatever else I have time to tackle until the kids get off school. So, let's do it. By the way, what is up with all of the boxes? <laughs> Drives me crazy, I gotta smash these and recycle them, but there's like a million empty boxes in my cabinets, in my freezer. After getting the kitchen picked up and wiped clean, just kind of waiting on the groceries to get here so I can um, put all those away and show you a haul, I went ahead and started working on other tasks that I needed to do around the house, like laundry and sorting through the mail. Um, however, I never ended up doing the laundry right then because I felt like laundry is something I can do when everyone is home. Um, but there are tasks that I like to complete when nobody's here that I can just focus on. So sorting through the mail, um, cleaning up the kids' bedrooms, cleaning the showers and the bathrooms and mopping the floors. Those are things I like to clean when I'm home alone. So I try to work on those things instead of doing like a task that I can do when everyone's here, like laundry. Um, and then I desperately needed to clean our shower. It had... Oh, it's gotten gross. So I needed to scrub this down. I needed to scrub the tile down, steam clean the toilet, steam clean the grout, and all that. So I'm going to work on just a really good deep clean in the bathroom today. 
So to scrub out the shower, I like to use a really firm scrub brush and Dawn dish soap. So Dawn works really well at getting soap scum off the shower, um, shower doors or tile. It's like, it's been a game changer. I used to use scrubbing bubbles, but then I have started to get extremely sensitive to certain scents. Like I will get a migraine, my throat will feel itchy, and I just, I don't know, I... I hate using strong chemicals to clean. So recently I've just been using my steam cleaner and then I'll just scrub things down with Dawn because it's like the most gentle cleaner I have been able to clean with and it doesn't irritate me at all. Um, so that's what I'm scrubbing the shower with and it comes like crystal clean. Like it's so, so good. I have used Dawn to clean up my showers now for well over a year. Um, I highly recommend, especially if you have a glass door, you gotta try it. So once I get done with the shower, I do move on to cleaning out the toilet. Um, to clean the toilet, I've just been using cleaning vinegar because it doesn't irritate me. It does stink up. I don't like the smell of vinegar, to be honest, but it works really well at cleaning the toilet, and I feel like it disinfects great. So I use that for the toilet, um, and then Lysol wipes to clean around the toilet and stuff like that. And then I am going in with my steamer. I got this from Amazon. Um, this is like a off-brand steamer. I was going to buy the Bissell. I think it's called a Power Shop steamer but they were sold out for like the longest time and I really wanted one like as soon as possible so I got this one I would probably recommend just waiting and getting the better one um oh I don't know though because this is the first one I've ever used and I feel like this one works great but maybe all steamers are like this but when you hold the button down and you're steaming for a while you have to let off let it heat back up and build up the steam again and then you gotta it just takes a long time to clean with a steamer in my opinion but I swear Everything comes like so clean. It, I use it on the baseboards. I use it on the toilet, the tile, um, the sink. I even, heck, I even clean the mirror with it. I like steam the mirror and then wipe it clean. And it's like, I don't know what <laughs> kind of magic the steam does, but it just makes it, well, obviously it heats it up and makes it just melt away, which is nice. So you don't have to do any crazy scrubbing. So if you have like arthritis or anything like that, I definitely recommend getting you a little steamer. Try to find one that doesn't have... A trigger that you have to hold down though because this one you do have to hold the button down like it doesn't have like an on and off like switch I really wish that these did because it does hurt your finger after holding it down for a little bit but if you can find a good steamer highly recommend like you can just see all the nasty stuff just getting like pushed around and then you can just easily wipe it off and it just it's so nice
All right, so now I'm in the front bathroom. Pretty much gonna do the same thing in here. Deep clean the tile, the sinks, uh, steam clean the toilet, the shower. Well, I didn't steam the shower, but I scrub it down using the Dawn um, once again. And just do like a really nice deep clean. It was very overdue. All right, so I'm just finishing up the shower really quick, scrubbing down the tile um, and then rinsing everything clean. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move into my son's bedroom and do a quick tidy up in here. And also I'm gonna work on going through his clothes. So about two months ago, we started the no fold method where we don't, I don't really worry about the kids' clothes being perfectly organized in their drawers. Like, and the reason for that is number one, they like to get themselves dressed. And no matter how many times I've tried to keep their stuff organized and folded nicely and all sorted, within a day it's back to square one so I just I you know you just got to pick your battles as a mom and this is one battle that I'm not willing to face so <laughs> um it's been a while since I've went through their my son's clothes specifically and organized them put them away properly and I'm gonna work on that today so I'm actually gonna finish cleaning up his room vacuum and all that good stuff and then bring his whole load of laundry in his room and fold everything sort through it go through and find if there's any like dingy clothes or clothes that don't fit him anymore and pull those to the side because um, obviously I don't want to have like an overabundance of clothes especially with Christmas right around and the usually corner. this is the time of year where I start decluttering um, toys if I notice something that they haven't played with for a while I go ahead and grab it and throw it in a bag and we start minimalizing as much as possible because we know between us um, Santa and all of our family and friends for Christmas the kids end up accumulating quite a bit um, so I usually start donating toys at this point. So moving on to the whole clothes I'm um, sorting through these I went ahead and just emptied out all of the drawers first and I'm gonna work through folding these I'm um, just kind of seeing what we have and now that his closet is cleaned out and I'm utilizing his closet for his clothes as well there were some shirts that I did decide to hang up things that you know he kind of just wears out that are a little bit nicer and I have gotten some questions because we do the whole no fold method like about wrinkly clothes and honestly like their clothes get straightened out pretty quick like once they put them on if they are wrinkly they're straight within a couple like maybe a couple minutes there's not like they're like all wrinkly and if I do notice that their clothes are really wrinkly and they need to be like fluffed I throw them in the dryer and I just fluff them so it's not that big of a deal we haven't really had any issues as far as that goes um, and as, if we're going to be going out to dinner or something like that I typically come in and I pick out their outfit ahead of time so I have time to get any wrinkles or things but on a day-to-day -day basis if they just like put on play clothes I don't care if they have a few wrinkles in their shirt it doesn't bother me I know some people are totally against that and I understand but everybody's different so like I said you got to pick your battles <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing how fast our kids accumulate so many clothes just from like buying like a random shirt here and there when you see it and it's cute. They accumulate a lot, so do I. <laughs> I can't talk crap. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious. Idiots thinking it will matter 
keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up Another day, don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake no, up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine But how you know that I'll be there When it feels like I'm Lying every time someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass but I'm not gonna wake up, wake up, I'm not gonna All right, so my groceries just got here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these in and share with you what I got this week. I think I spent right around 220, um, which is not bad at all. I got a ton of food. I can just see just by looking. And I'm over this rain, by the way. Okay, so the total was $230, so not bad at all, and I got quite a bit of dinner. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the groceries. Over here on this side, I have all the dinners kind of laid out, and then over here is lunch, breakfast, just like essentials. Um, so let me turn the camera around and show you what I got this week. Alrighty, so here's all of the dinners. So starting right here, we got the Fast Fixin' Country Fried Steaks. These are so good. Um, I feel like they have like a really bad star ra uh, rating online, but the actual country fried steak in here is great. I don't care for the gravy, but typically we just use our own gravy mix, but these are so, so good. The kids love them too. So I got those. I got a big bag of shrimp here. This will make at least two dinners. Um, Dylan usually makes like homemade chicken or er, <laughs> I almost said chicken alfredo. He'll make homemade alfredo sauce and we'll do like shrimp alfredo, shrimp fried rice. There's so many things you can do with shrimp. So got that. Um, I got a thing of bacon. We always do breakfast for dinner at least one night a week. Um, and then I got two cans of cream of mushroom soup. This is going to be for my pork chops and gravy. So I just got a cheap thing of pork chops here for $5.62. And I'll put these in the crock pot with some of the cream of mushroom and let them just simmer all day. And the pork chops will literally just fall apart. You serve it over mashed potatoes with green beans on the side. So good. Um, and then I got steak. Uh, <laughs> they gypped me. Look at this. This is crazy. This little tiny little baby steak over here. So that's not going to be enough. Um, that's a bummer. I did not order this specific one. This is a good steak though, by the way. The chuck eye is really good. But that ain't going to be enough. So I'll have to get more of that. But. Anyway, we got some steak there. Um, I did get hot dogs, buns, and chili to make chili dogs. We're gonna do a Caesar salad one night, but this bag's not enough for us because the kids, me and Dylan, we eat a ton of salad. So um, I ended up getting this and this. We'll just kind of mix the two together and have like chicken Caesar salad one night. 
after probably one of the chicken dinners. So I got a big pack of chicken here for $13.40. One, two, three. I'll get at least three dinners out of that. Um, I got angel hair pasta, roasted garlic, um, spaghetti sauce. This is always my favorite. I've shared this a million times, but I always buy this one so I can save the jar. And I use these mason jars as my cups. So you get spaghetti and a new cup every time. <laughs> so I got that. And then we're going to do... Uh, grilled cheese and soup for dinner as well. So I got a whole thing of chicken noodle soup and then the chicken corn chowder Dylan likes. So I got him that. And then I got three pounds of ground beef. We're going to do tacos, meatloaf, and spaghetti. Okay. And then on this side over here, um, I got some Canadian bacon here for um, like a breakfast sandwich and lots of eggs. So that goes with that. I don't know why it was way over here. Um, but then we got mini raviolis. We got two of those, two cans of the spaghetti o meatballs, three jars. Wait, just kidding. I ended up getting two of the chicken corn chowder and then two chicken noodle soup. These are good to always have on hand and we are completely out. So I wanted to make sure to stock up on my chicken noodle soup. I also got tomato soup. I like to have tomato soup with my grilled cheese, so I'll probably have that. Um, I did get cottage cheese. Um, I'm actually going to use this and this together. The pretzel uh, crisp, the buffalo wing with this is so good. So, got that. I got a jar of baby dill pickles, a gallon of milk, coffee creamer for Dylan, coffee creamer for me, orange juice always, and then a big jar or tub of vanilla yogurt. Um, we just like to pour these in a like a bowl for the kids as a snack and they can add like chocolate chips, uh, walnuts, whatever they want. So I just buy the big tub. I got a bag of baby carrots to snack on, summer sausage for the kids for lunch, make our own homemade Lunchables, a cucumber for our salad, crispy red peppers for our salad, <laughs> another spring mix because this is my favorite to eat for salads. Dylan doesn't like this one because of the, um, the, what's it called, spinach but I prefer this over the other salad mix. So I got that for me for lunches. I got bananas, apples, paper towels, which I never really buy, but recently I feel like we've had a lot of company and <laughs> we don't use paper towels. We usually just use like hand towels to dry or wipe our hands if we're eating like the microfiber ones. Um, it saves us a lot of money not having to buy these, but I got some just to have on hand in case we ever have company. I got some plain bagels, the Dave's Killer Bread. This is my favorite. I already showed you the buffalo wing um, chips. Two cartons of eggs. Like I said, we're gonna have breakfast for dinner one night. I eat a ton of eggs. I like scrambled eggs over easy eggs. I love egg sandwiches. So I wanted to make sure I stock up on those. I did get one pizza back here just as like a quick easy lunch for next week since the kids are out of school. I got waffles, <laughs> more waffles. <laughs> I showed you this. Um, lots of muffins to make for breakfast, snacks. The kids can help me with these. We have like the little mini muffin pan, so they'll love that. A thing of syrup. I got some lemons for my lemon water and a case of waters down here. And that was everything I got for $230. And I feel like that was really good. I feel like I got a lot of dinners. Okay, so I gotta put all these groceries away, but I just calculated that I got about 14 dinners. Plus I got all the breakfast and lunch. So that's really good for $230 in my opinion. I think I, I did a really great job this week. Um, plus going through the fridge and freezer, seeing what we already had, that helps a lot because you can just buy a few things to add to those things. And we have um, one, two, we have three packs of chicken in the freezer still. Of course, I always like to keep stuff frozen just in case. But um, yeah, I did pretty good this week. Last week, I did okay. We actually ate out a lot more last week, but we spent about the same amount of money that we would spend on groceries. I did not go grocery shopping last week um, because we were just swamped. I was swamped and we were just eating what we had on hand. And then on occasion, I would run to the store, grab a few ingredients, bring it home and cook it. And so we did that a couple nights and then we ate McDonald's last night because we went to my brother's house. But overall, spending wise, I spent about I'd say about 220 ish over the week, but I didn't buy like groceries. We just kind of ate what we had and ate out. So had we bought groceries, we probably would have saved money because then if we would have used what we had, 
Plus bought groceries, we probably would have saved more, but you know, life happens and we got busy. <laughs> we ate out a lot. So anyway, I am doing really good though. Um, I have, I downloaded this app called Rocket Money. I've had it for actually a long time. I'm gonna sh share it with you. Um, and it basically tracks your subscriptions and stuff like that. Let me see if it'll let me log in without, I gotta set this down, y'all. My arm's about to fall off. Wait, I need to put my groceries away. Let me put these away and then I'll tell you. So the Rocket Money app, basically, it just kind of categorizes your spending. So whatever you spend on groceries, it puts it in a category, your bills. It just helps you monitor your spending. And I love the app. I actually downloaded it and tried the free trial and really liked it, so I ended up keeping it. Um, also, I love that it kind of notifies you if you have a large transaction that just seems a little unusual. It just sends you a quick little text and it's like, hey, um, unusually large transaction detected just to kind of help you see your spending. So anytime I make a like a double payment or something like that on a bill, it will automatically let me know that I've spent more than usual. I, I like that. I think it's really awesome. Um, and this month so far for groceries and on this day, it was the 17th that I was filming. We had spent $914 so far on just food related purchases that includes eating out as well. So really that helps you see, okay, how much money you have left in your grocery budget. If you're not someone who does like a cash budget, we don't do cash because I just don't feel like it's safe to have a bunch of cash laying around in my personal opinion. Um, so I just kind of budget in my head or use utilizing apps and different like templates and stuff like that that I can break everything down and watch my spending. So so far we spent 914 by November 17th. We still have to buy Thanksgiving um like stuff to make our dishes that I make for Thanksgiving, but that's really good. I feel like we did great this month. Typically we end up spending way more than that at this point in time. So um, I said that my budget was 1200 for the month and we have spent about 914. That leaves us with $286 left to get us through the rest of the month. Um, right now, currently in my Walmart grocery cart, I have $50 worth of stuff for Thanksgiving. And then all we have to do is buy a couple more dinners to get us through. But honestly, I probably won't even have to do that because with this grocery haul, I was able to make 14 dinners that would cover this week and next week as well. So I think we're in a really great position. We should be able to stay under budget. Um, and that is a huge improvement from the usual $1,600 that we were spending. I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I'll just put some in the fridge. We'll leave some out. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the chicken into um, gallon-sized freezer bags. I just separate it um, to fit for our family. So each um, bag will get two chicken breasts. These are large, so I'm able to cut these in half when I go to cook, and it's plenty of food for the four of us. I went and got the kids from school. Hi. Hello. Hello. My name's Trini. Hello. Well, hi. What do you want from your mother? No. It's wet and raining outside. You're fine. No, we can't go out there and play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Katie, can you bring me the remote? all day and I swear sometimes I just I wonder what goes through kids minds anyway I'm gonna watch a movie while I fold this laundry because somebody told me in the comments like they just use um, folding laundry time as like chill time I'm gonna need you to undo it hack my home updates family home to use their space more efficiently huh let's watch this impression no first impression of the show the hack my home I love to see like normal homes, you know, like just normal, normal, <laughs> you know, all these like 
dream home design shows they're great absolutely wonderful i love getting inspiration by watching those shows like when i do watch them but um seeing like real houses being fixed up is nice too kind of just shows your ideas you can do to your house hey y'all so it's been a couple hours i was working on obviously cleaning the house getting laundry done i was watching a show what was the show called again? Hack My House or something like that. It's super cool. Um, a little a little out there with some of the designs, in my opinion. It's like, I thought it was like more of like a budget-friendly, like, little home hacks to like make organize. It's definitely not. <laughs> but it's still, it was still cool. Um, the makeover that they did for this family was pretty awesome in their basement. But anyway. So it is now Monday. I actually haven't filmed since I think it was Saturday was the last time I picked up the camera because Saturday was my niece's birthday. I had an awesome time, spent all day up there. And then Sunday, I went and picked up my sister-in-law and we went shopping all day. We had an awesome, like really great girls day. We don't get to do that often. Um, so that was the first time we had went shopping in together without children for in like four years. It's been a long, long time. So we definitely soaked it up. We spent all day shopping and we started Christmas shopping. We also um, got the kids stuff to wear for Thanksgiving. So I have a couple outfits that I got recently from a thrift store that I plan on wearing, but I went ahead and got Dylan um, and the kids a nice outfit, not just for Thanksgiving, but for Christmas as well. And sometime this week, we got to make time to make to, to take family photos because we got to do Christmas cards. I didn't even think about it. And then I actually got a message from my friend Becca here on YouTube. And she was like, hey, what's your address? Let me send you a Christmas card. And then it like dawned on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, we haven't even done Christmas cards. Um, so I, I'm well, we're behind. But I thought I would share with you a haul on some of the things that I got. So, um... My sister-in-law and I, we went to, um, we went to a play, it's a consignment shop. What the heck is it called? Children's, do I have a, I thought I had a receipt for Once Upon a Child. Once Upon a Child is what it's called. Um, it's a children's consignment shop. I always want to call it the children's place, but that's a different, completely different store. So it's called Once Upon a Child, and they basically buy gently use clothes from people and then resell it um it's all like children's stuff though and you can get really great deals there but you can also get completely ripped off so you got to be careful really like do like you know pay attention to what you're buying we always look for name brand items there to you know make sure that we're getting a good deal or new with tags so i'll share with you what i ended up getting so first thing was this Leverett, I have no idea. Yeah, Leverett top. This is a size five. So this is for my son. This was $4.50. This really cute like button up top. I think this is so adorable. And we're all going to be wearing this color green for Christmas. So I think this is going to be nice. And <laughs> so my little brother and my sister-in-law, Michaela, that's who I went shopping with is Michaela. They're wearing green too. <laughs> so we're going to be matching for Christmas. Got that for $4.50. Then I got this top. This one also is for my son. This could be for Thanksgiving, just like a nice going out um, shirt. He loves button ups like this. And this one, new with tags, was $4.50. So not bad at all. Not bad. I love a good deal. So less than $10 for two nice tops. Um, I also got my daughter some shorts. I know you're probably thinking, why would you buy shorts? It's winter, but it's technically not winter here. Um, it is hot as heck. So I got these for $2.50. These are just the Walmart brand Wonder Nation. However, these are awesome shorts. We love that brand and they fit nice. So got those for $2.50. I got my daughter this pretty Christmas top just to wear like anytime for Christmas. She's got a green top that she's going to wear as well. And I, we all have green. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. My daughter and I are wearing like a cream, like a... Like this color, like a beige, like this beige right here for Christmas. And then the boys are wearing the green. 
and this is just like a Christmas top that she can wear like out to dinner or something. I thought it was really pretty. And I got this for $3.50. This is the Cat and Jack brand from Walmart. Or no, from Target. But not bad for $3.50. That would be really cute with some black leggings and some boots. And then um, he already took off with one pair of the jeans he got, I think. And then I got him these as well. So these are no tag pants i don't know what brand they are but they are 550 is what i paid for these no stains great condition look brand new still so i got him those and then we went to the children's place and then this other store that's inside of the mall it's like a discount children's store because i was starting to buy stuff for my nieces and nephews for christmas so i ended up getting these were from the children's place too. These are Old Navy. And to be honest with you, I don't know if these were for boys or for girls. It's hard to tell, to be honest with you. Um, like when he put them on, I was like, ah, they kind of look like girl jeans. But see like the distressing here? I don't know if these are girls or boys. These were also from the children's place. Um, or I mean, Once Upon a Child. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. <laughs> these were $6.50. These are Old Navy but the tag is built or is um like ripped off so i can't tell like what brand they were i feel like from the back they look like little boy denim but then like the distressing in the front is throwing me off i don't know they look fine on him though and they're they were 650 for those so then Moving on, um, from the children's place, so this is a store inside of the mall, like the actual store, they did have some pretty decent deals. They had all of their like graphic tees and um, like t-shirts like this on sale, 60% off. So I got this green like uh, waffle net top. This is for my son. This was, I think I paid like $6.99 for this, so not bad at all. And then I got my nephew some cute little outfits stop <laughs> i can't oh my gosh so tell me this isn't the cutest stinking outfit ever look at the little blue pocket ah i love this so this is for my nephew for christmas obviously he's a baby so he's not really gonna be like opening gifts i wanted to him things that he actually needed and he needed some like winter outfits because our winter really hits like i would say the end of december january and february it's cold most of the time not most of the time, but some days, and he needs some, like, long pants and stuff. So these will be perfect for after Christmas. $9.99 for these. I love this. I also got him this one. It says, let's have an adventure. <laughs> look, at the, look at the little pants and the little hat. with the. Oh, my gosh. I am the baby fever. It's freaking horrible but I am like soaking all in all the loves I can get from him so this is a six to nine size once again this was nine ninety nine. um the store in the mall is called kids for less I don't know if y'all's mall has those but they have great deals on kids clothes so I got that for him I also got him this from Ross this was $3.99 like a little teether toy oh and then I got the kids matching pajamas from the children's place so this will be like for their um, Christmas Eve box to open so they can be matching for Christmas morning. I thought these were so cute. I like these because like they're Christmassy, but they can also be worn like throughout the winter without it being like Santa Claus, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're a good neutral, but still Christmas winter. Um, and these were $9.99 each. So not bad for a set of pajamas. And then, more baby toys <laughs> I was so excited buying toys baby stuff is so e babies are easy to buy for because you can just buy a bunch of like little things so it was easy buying for him I mean we weren't really like searching searching for toys for the uh, for like all my other nieces and nephews I felt like if I saw something that I knew they liked I would get it and I did get my niece a little guitar and I'll show you guys that in a second but I got him this little book this is like one of those crinkle books and then I got him this as well, little $4.99, little baby toy that like kind of spins. So Ross has great deals on baby stuff, by the way. And then back at the children's place, I got this top, little t-shirt for my son. 
I got this t-shirt for him as well. And these were $4.99. These are like, these feel great quality, but I did make sure to get a bigger, like a big size shirt because I do feel like the children's place clothes, they shrink a lot. Um, I got these shorts from that store that was called Kids for Less. So this is like a little two pack set and it comes with a little scrunchie. These were $7.99 for this. And then children's place again. I got two little like graphic long sleeve shirts for my daughter. So this one I thought was really cute. I love the bright colors. I honestly want this in like my size. I love it. And then I got this one too. Really bright. I love bright colors on the kids. That way I can see them from a mile away. <laughs> Especially when we go to the park. Do y'all ever do that? Like dress your kids in bright colors so that way you can spot them out of all the other kids? I do. <laughs> um, these were from, oh these are the other shorts, or the jeans I was telling you about. So these I got from the children's place. These are really, really nice. Um, these I think were, did I already rip the tag off of these? No, okay, I see why. All right, so when I was at the register, I thought it was weird. Like, she walked by me and went and looked to see how much these were. So there was no, someone must have ripped the tag off and she sold it to me with no tag. <laughs> well, good thing I'm not returning them. But I got these from the children's place. I think I paid like 10 bucks for these, but these are like some of the nicest pairs of jeans that my son has. Plus, they're long and he's getting really tall. Both of my kids are very tall. I know that y'all have noticed that in the background of my videos. Like, them running, they're about to be taller than me. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. And it's crazy because my husband's not like a super tall guy himself, but my family and my husband's side of the family, they're like kind of tall. Like his brother's tall. Um, actually both of his, all three of his brothers are tall. His sister's tall. Um, his mom's like an average height for a woman. And then his dad's 5'8 or 5'9. Um, but my, my brothers are tall. I got super tall brothers. I think they're five eleven, both of them. So I don't know. I guess the kids took after that. All the tall people, and me and Dylan are gonna be like the short parents. <laughs> okay. Last thing is this guitar. So I got this for one of my nieces. Um, I saw it whenever we were checking out, and I'm like, ooh, I wonder how much that is. It was only like twelve ninety nine. So this is super cute. She's gonna absolutely love this. And our motto for Christmas the past couple years is quality over quantity. I'm trying to make sure that the gifts we're purchasing are like things that we know the kids are gonna actually like and that they're gonna get use out of um, because I can't tell you how many times we've just bought things just to have a gift under the tree, you know, type of thing, like a whole lot of things. And I know that's really exciting, but then at the end, you just have all these little things that never get touched and we're learning. As you get older, you start to realize like, okay, that was a very unnecessary gift. It was just to have an extra gift under the tree. So we're trying you know, like I said, quality over quantity. And um, I'm so excited about Christmas this year. We've done talk to Santa. We already know what uh, he's bringing. We already know what we're bringing. <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome Christmas. I'm so excited. But um, it's also been like a little stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Like we, my sister-in-law and I, when we went shopping yesterday, it was Sunday. And I figured a lot of people were gonna be out shopping. But oh my gosh, it is so overwhelming in the stores right now. It's super overwhelming. If you haven't been out, just brace yourself, prepare, get you a coffee before you go because holy moly, there was just things everywhere. It's like, I don't know about y'all, but when there, there's like an overwhelming amount of stuff in a store, like to the point where you're like dodging, trying to walk and you have to step over things. Like we were specifically at Ross. Ross in our town is like destroyed this time of year. I mean, it is just a disaster. You just see things kind of just stacked wherever and piles of stuff on the floor. It's just, it's mentally overwhelming so I probably this year for my nephews that I have left to buy for I'm probably gonna hit like five and below because they got some awesome toys there um, if you've never tried five and below definitely check it out if you're look, like, trying to stay on a budget five and below is great if you have um, like nephews or nieces that love to be outside and play with outside toys like they have basketballs um, different like little games for outside actually really decent stuff so definitely check that out stocking stuffers are great to buy from there as well so I'm probably gonna hit that store and of course Walmart when we go for Black Friday shopping which I don't really know the only things that we really need so for Black Friday typically if we go shopping for Black Friday it's to buy stuff for the house I feel like there's not a whole lot of great deals as far as kid stuff in my like that my kids want 
but we always get great deals on like kitchen knives, pots and pans. That's usually when we buy stuff that we actually need for the house. Like that's our Christmas to ourselves is to like for the house. So we do need a new set of kitchen knives. We need to set a pot and pans. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We need towels. <laughs> we have like, oh my gosh, we have like beach towels that we're using as like our actual towels. I know we're crazy, but anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I, at this point, I'm just chatting just to chat. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope that you are having an amazing day week so far. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. I think you're gonna see this video before Thanksgiving and this will be the last one till after Thanksgiving just because it's busy. Like today's Monday, by the time I get this video edited and uploaded and posted on Wednesday, like it's boom, it's Thanksgiving. And then I have a cleaning video going up, um, I think on Friday and um, I have a kitchen, or not a kitchen, I have a table makeover I may be able to squeeze and post by Sunday I'm not sure though but then we're gonna start decorating for Christmas so life is just getting busy um, but thank you for being here I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next one bye y'all